हेलो स्टूडेंट्स लेसन नंबर फिफ्थ इन साइड द एटम इन दिस लेसन वी सॉ सो मेनी थिंग्स दैट इज द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ एटम्स डिफरेंट थेरीज टू थेरीज ऑफ साइंटिस्ट दैट एक्सप्लेन्स द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ एटम आफ्टर दैट वी हैड सीन द नेक्स्ट सीन दिस एटॉमिक स्ट्रक्चर विच आर द एटॉमिक स्ट्रक्चर इन साइड वी हैड सीन there are protons and neutrons are present in the nucleus and the electrons are revolving around the nucleus and then we have seen that what is the capacity of the each orbit of the uh, each orbit in the uh, proton uh, in the atom of a nucleus atom of a element so here we will see the can you tell's question so where is the similarity there is a similarity in the atomic structure and solar system there is any similarity in the atomic structure and the solar system this is a question and the planets revolve around the sun due to gravitational force okay and which force might be acting on the atomic structure so as we know that here it is a sun and around the sun there are what all the planets are revolving around the sun in a particular orbit okay same thing is happening with the which our atom in the atom inside the protons and neutrons are present and the electrons are there revolving around the uh, nucleus in a particular orbit so if you see the structure then we think that the atomic structure is and the uh solar system has a similarity then next point is there here it is which because of which force they are revolving so the reason behind it is the gravitational force okay then even which force is there in between the nucleus and the electrons that electrons are revolving around the nucleus that is the nuclear force is there and due to this what happens they are revolving around the nucleus next question is the positive charged protons are together in the nucleus as you know that positive charged protons are there are together in the nucleus so what might be the function of the neutron in the nucleus as we know that just i told you if it is a nucleus in this nucleus positively charged protons are there and there is a no, no charge neutrons are there okay and these neutrons are present in the uh, in the nucleus but what is its role to so to become stable for the stability of the atom the neutrons are very important now today we will see the next part of the uh, lesson and that is the electronic configuration of elements so here if you see here so each orbit has its particular capacity so first orbit capacity is 2 second 8 18 32 is the capacity or this much electrons can accommodate in the shells k l m n respectively this is the maximum capacity of shell means in this shell inside this much only electrons means this much electrons can accommodate more than that cannot be what happens accommodate in that this is the maximum capacity of the shell the electrons in an atom are distributed in an atom are distributed in the shell according to the maximum capacity the shell wise distribution of electron in an atom of an element is called as its electronic configuration so what is the definition of electronic configuration the shell wise the shell wise distribution of electrons the shell wise distribution of the electrons in an atom of an element is called as a electronic configuration of that element each electron has a definite energy as we know that and that energy is depends upon the in which orbit it is present okay so each electron has its definite energy as per shell okay and in which it is present energy of electron in the first shell that is k shell is lowest okay as we seen here the which is the first shell the first shell is the k shell second is the l m n okay so the capacity of k shell is less than that of the l yes l shells less than that of the m m shells less than that of the n so in this way 
एंड इसका कैपेसिटी इज देयर ओके नेक्स्ट पॉइंट इज द केशेल इज लोएस एनर्जी ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन इन सब्सिक्वेंट शेल्स गोज ऑन इंक्रीजिंग विद द ऑर्डिनल नंबर ऑफ द शेल वॉट दे टोल्ड यू ऑर्डिनल नंबर विच ऑर्बिट इट इज ओके एट विच प्लेस इज ऑर्बिट इज देयर ऑन इट इट्स कैपेसिटी इज डिपेंड ऑन द इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कॉन्फिग्रेशन ऑफ इलेमेंट इन सच दैट इज सच दैट द एनर्जी ऑफ ऑल इलेक्ट्रॉन टूगेदर इज मॉक्सिम पॉसिबल वॉट दे टोल्ड यू द इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कॉन्फिग्रेशन ऑफ एन एलिमेंट इज सच दैट द एनर्जी ऑफ ऑल इलेक्ट्रॉन्स टूगेदर इज मैक्सिम पॉसिबल इलेक्ट्रॉन गेट प्लेस इन द शेल इन द अकॉर्डेंस विद द मैक्सिम कैपेसिटी ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक शेल एज वी नो दैट द कैपेसिटी ऑफ शेल्स वी सीन दैट के शेल केज कैपेसिटी इज टू यल्स कैपेसिटी इज एट यम्स कैपेसिटी इज एटीन एंड देन नेक्स्ट लास्ट इट इज द थर्टी टू इज द कैपेसिटीज ऑफ द शेल्स सो एज पर द कैपेसिटी द इलेक्ट्रॉन्स आर अकोमोडेटेड इन द शेल नेक्स्ट लेटेस्ट नाउ लुक एट द इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कॉन्फिग्रेशन ऑफ एटम्स ओके नाउ वी हैव टू सी द इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कॉन्फिग्रेशन ऑफ एटम ऑफ सम एलिमेंट सो द रो इट वन एंड थ्री आर फिल्ड इन द टेबल अकॉर्डिंगली टू यू हैव टू फिल द रेस्ट ऑफ द टेबल्स ओके सो हियर इट इज द टेबल सो इफ यू सी हियर हियर द एटम्स नेम गिवन हियर दिस इज हाइड्रोजन हेलियम लिथियम ओके एंड आफ्टर दैट here number of electrons are given hmm the number of electrons also given here so according to it what we have to write its electronic configuration okay so first of all <coughs> here the symbols of the elements are given and number of electrons present in it also provided to us and from that we have to write the how many electrons are present in the a respected shell that is first is k shell l shell m shell and n shell and its capacity is also given here k shell's capacity to l's 8 m's 18 n's 32 so first of all we will see which examples they solve and then we will see the next part so first of all see here hydrogen okay hydrogen atomic number is 1 means one electron is present and that one electron is will come in the k shell okay so the electrons finish so electronic electron form is equal to how much we will get 1 now helium its atomic number is 2 and this 2 as the as you know the capacity of the k shell is 2 so two two both the electrons are enter in the k shell so in the numerical form inside we will write here two only now next it is the lithium what is the atomic number of lithium that is 3 so first orbit get two two electrons second orbit that is l orbit get the one electron so the electronic configuration is equal to 2 1 now that remaining we have to complete okay so see here the carbon atomic number is 6 okay carbon atomic number is 6 and according to the what the electronic configuration or the capacity of the orbits in first orbit two electrons will go okay so if in first orbit two means k shell will get the two electrons remaining four will enter in the next shell that is the l shell so here we have to write 2 4 okay 2 4 it is the carbons electronic configuration next it is nitrogen so seven are there so first of out of seven first two will enter in the first orbit and the next remaining five will enter the second orbit okay second orbit and the electronic configuration is 2 5 2 five okay next it is the oxygen atomic number is 8 so out of 8 first two will enter in the k shell and the 8 minus 2 that is the 6 will enter in the which orbit l orbit or the second orbit so the electronic configuration is 2 6 okay next it is the fluorine fluorine atomic number is 9 so here again first shell inside how many electrons will go first shell inside 2 
and second shell inside 9 minus 2 that is 7 will enter in the next shell that is the L cell or second shell. So see here electronic configuration is 2, 7, 2, 7. Next it is a neon. As you know that atomic number is which 10 and its electronic configuration will be then in first orbit it will how many electrons will go? 2 electrons will go and second orbit inside 8 electrons will go. Okay and that's why the electronic configuration is 2 and 8. Okay 2 and 8. Now as you know that the capacity of the second orbit that is L orbit is 8. Okay, so after this neon, neon is electrically neutral and after neon, the next uh, elements, whichever is there, its electron will enter in the M shell, in the M shell till its capacity is 18. Okay, so when its capacity will fulfill, then the electron will enter in the next shell. So next we will see the sodium. Hmm? Atomic number is how much? 11. And atomic molecular formula is Na sodium. So, sodium Na 11 atomic number is 11. So, first orbit will how much go? 2. Second orbit's capacity is 8. So, 8 will only remains constant here. After 8 it will not increase. The capacity of second shell will not increase more than 8 because its capacity is that much only. So, sodium 2, 8 and remaining 1 enter in the next orbit that is M orbit so, the electronic configuration is 2, 8 and the 1, 2, 8, 1, okay. So, in this way, it is there. Next, it is the chlorine. Hmm? Chlorine, atomic number is 17. Atomic number of chlorine is 17. So, the 17, so, for uh, chlorine, Cl chlorine, atomic number 17. So, in first orbit, 2 will enter. Second orbit inside 8 will enter and third orbit enter inside remaining means 17 minus 10. So, 7 will enter in which orbit? The third orbit. So, the electronic configuration is 2, 8 and the 7. 2, 8 and the 7. So, all of you note down this next to argon and bromine is there that we will take now. Okay. So, first of all, here... If, uh, if you see here, next two are the argon and the bromine. So, argon atomic number is AR argon, atomic number is 18. So, out of 18, in first orbit, how many will enter? K shell will get two, uh, 2 electrons, L shell will get 8 electrons. So, 8 plus 2, 10 and 18 minus 10 means 8 will enter in the third, third orbit that is m orbit and its a electronic configuration is then 288 288 okay in this way the electronic electrons distribution is seen in the what the uh, argon next it is the bromine bromine's atomic number is 35 so 35 so first will enter in first shell two electrons will go then remains second inside 8 will go okay now what is the capacity of this m uh, m shell its capacity is 18 okay so 2 plus 8 plus 18 is equals to 28 is equals to 28 and 35 minus 28 means how much it is there <coughs> and remaining will enter in the outermost orbit that is the which orbit the n orbit okay so, this is the electronic configuration of bromine. So, in bromine, the electronic configuration is at 2, 8, 18 and the 7 is the electronic configuration of bromine. Now, we saw this chart and in this chart, how the electronic distribution is there that we had seen and in this way every electro every element has its own electronic configuration according to the shells okay what happens how many electrons are there its capacity we are distributing the electron so all of you complete this box first of all and send me then the electronic configuration in the numerical form contains number separated by commas okay so here at how we written for organ we written here two then comma return 
एट देन कॉमा गिवन देन एटीन देन ऑल्सो कॉमा एंड देन सेवन इन दिस वे दिस कॉमा इज देयर वी हैव टू राइट इन बिटवीन द नंबर्स वेन एवर वी आर राइटिंग द इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कॉन्फिग्रेशन नाउ हियर द नंबर इंडिकेट्स द इलेक्ट्रॉन नंबर इन द शेल विच इंक्रीजिंग ऑर्डर ऑफ एनर्जी फॉर एग्जाम्पल इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कॉन्फिग्रेशन ऑफ सोडियम इज जस्ट नाउ वी सीन दैट इट्स एटॉमिक नंबर इज हाउ मच इट इज इलेवन सो इलेवन इन साइड्स टू विल एंटर इन फर्स्ट शेल एट विल एंटर इन द सेकेंड शेल एंड वन विल एंटर इन द लास्ट थर्ड शेल इट मीन्स दैट द टोटल इलेवन इलेक्ट्रॉन्स इन द सोडियम आर डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड एज इन टू इन के शेल एट इन एल शेल एंड वन वन इन द शेल एम द इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कॉन्फिग्रेशन आइटम कैन ऑल्सो बी रिप्रेजेंटेड बाय द शेल डायग्राम शोज इन द फाइव पॉइंट एट ओके सो इन द डायग्राम हियर इट इज द फाइव पॉइंट एट एंड इट्स इट इज शोन हियर नाउ द नेक्स्ट पॉइंट इज द वैलेंसी ऑन द इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कॉन्फिगरेशन ओके सो हियर इफ यू सी दिस फिगर यू विल नोटिस दैट हाइड्रोजन हाउ मेन वॉट इज द एटॉमिक नंबर ऑफ हाइड्रोजन एटॉमिक नंबर ऑफ हाइड्रोजन इज वन सो वन वन इज एंटर इन इच इट इज द के शेल हेलियम्स ऑल्सो एटॉमिक नंबर इज टू हियर टू इलेक्ट्रॉन्स आर देयर इट विल एंटर ऑल्सो के शेल ओनली नाउ द कपैसिटी ऑफ के शेल इज टू ओनली नाउ इफ द इलेक्ट्रॉनिक नंबर विल इंक्रीज देन वॉट विल हैपन्स द इलेक्ट्रॉन्स विल एंटर इन द नेक्स्ट शेल नाउ हियर इफ यू सी इन फर्स्ट ऑर्बिट कार्बन्स एटॉमिक नंबर इज सिक्स एंड फर्स्ट ऑर्बिट टू इलेक्ट्रॉन्स आर देयर को के इन साइड एंड सेकेंड ऑर्बिट इन साइड फोर इलेक्ट्रॉन्स आर प्रेजेंट एंड दैट इज द यल ऑर्बिट ओके नेक्स्ट इट इज द न्यू ऑन एटॉमिक नंबर इज एज यू नो नो दैट जस्ट आई टोल यू इट्स एटॉमिक नंबर इज एट सो फर्स्ट ऑर्बिट इन साइड टू इलेक्ट्रॉन्स आर देयर एंड सेकेंड इन साइड एट आर देयर सो हिट हियर इट इज द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ एटॉमिक एटम ऑफ न्यून नाउ द कैपेसिटी ऑफ द सेकेंड ऑर्बिट इज गेट फुलफिल्ड आफ्टर एट टेन देन वॉट हैपन्स द नेक्स्ट एलिमेंट ओके सोडियम दैट इज इट्स इलेक्ट्रॉनिक नंबर इज इलेवन द एलेवन सो फर्स्ट ऑर्बिट इन साइड टू विल एंटर सेकेंड ऑर्बिट इन साइड एट विल एंटर एंड थर्ड ऑर्बिट इन साइड वन विल एंटर मीन्स सेकेंड ऑर्बिट्स कैपेसिटी फुलफिल देन द इलेक्ट्रॉन विल एंटर इन द नेक्स्ट ऑर्बिट ऑफ द एलिमेंट ओके सो दिस इज गिवन हियर इन दिस फिगर नाउ वी विल सी द वैलेंसी एंड इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कॉन्फिग्रेशन वी हैव सीन इन द लास्ट चैप्टर दैट द वैलेंसी ऑफ अ नंबर ऑफ केमिकल बॉन्ड्स फॉर्म बाय एन एटम सो एज यू नो दैट वॉट वैलेंसी मीन्स वॉट द हाउ मेनी केमिकल बॉन्ड्स इट फॉर्म विद द अनादर एटम एंड ऑन दैट इज द इट्स अ वैलेंसी वी ऑल्सो शो सो सीयर वेन एवर वी आर राइटिंग the uh, h2o okay h2o so here h2 hmm, and o1 means if o is there it's a oxygen its valency is how much so whenever we are writing this is a easy way it is there given for you so how many hydrogens two how many oxygen one so oxygen's valency is one and here it is two hydrogens are there okay and hydrogen's valency is one in this way we are finding otherwise atomic number is what is its atomic number 8 so first orbit will ele two electrons it will get second orbit inside how much electrons will get six and to complete his octave how many electrons he wants two electrons he want and for that's why its electron oxygen's uh, valency is two okay in this way we are finding its uh, valency now we also saw that that generally the valency of element remains constant in the compound and valency is there it is remains constant so here they gave you some questions can you tell inside use the molecular formula use the molecular formula to determine the valencies of hydrogen chlorine oxygen this all is given okay so we have to use this and molecular formula h2cl h2 hcl h2s NH3, CH4, HBr, HI, NaH. These are the molecular formulas given, and from that what we have to determine the valencies. So first of all we will see hydrogen. Every place here, if you notice, then H hydrogens at electronic configuration you see in here, see saw here. Okay, so to complete his duplet, to complete his duplet, okay, 
how many electrons it wants one electron want that's why the valency of hydrogen is one <coughs> valency of hydrogen is one that of chlorine if you see your chlorine structure chlorine is not shown in the figure but chlorine atomic number is 18, uh, 17 so first orbit inside 2 will enter second will 8 and third orbit inside 7 electrons will enter and to complete its octave if it octave for the completion of octave what happens how many electrons it needs okay is the valency of that element in that way so for the completion of octave how many electrons it octave means 8 electrons how many electrons it needs one electron so chlorine also what happens the electronic uh, valency is one now here h2 h bonds with h h and h how many bonds h so h valency is equals to one okay if you see the next uh, hcl hmm? hcl h c l so h reacts with how many chlorine one chlorine and chlorine react with how many hydrogen one hydrogen so chlorine also uh, valency is one okay now next we will see h2o from the formula how to derive the valency that i am telling to you h2o so hydrogen reacts with how many oxygen one as you know that hydrogen's valency we already written here and oxygen react with how many hydrogens two so oxygen's valency is two oxygen's valency is two because hydrogen reacts with oxygen react with two hydrogens and hydrogen reacts with one oxygen next uh, nh3 <coughs> NH3. So this is, here is the formula NH3. So how nitrogen react with how many hydrogens? Three. So nitrogens NH3 means ammonia. Nitrogen reacts with three hydrogen. That's why the valency of nitrogen is three and that of hydrogen is one because hydrogen react with how many uh, nitrogen? One nitrogen. Okay. So already we wrote here the hydrogen's valency. Next it is the CH4. CH4 means methane. So this is the formula for CH4. As you know that valency of hydrogen is 1. So hydrogen react with 1 carbon <coughs> and carbon react with 4 hydrogen. So carbon's valency is 4. So valency of carbon is equals to 4 and hydrogen is 1. Next it is the HBr. Okay. If you write here HBr then hydrogen react with 1 bromine and carbon uh, bromine also react with one hydrogen so its valency bromine's valency is also one next it is hi same thing is there here h i hydrogen reacts with one iodine molecule means hydrogen iodide it is there so hydrogen reacts with one iodine and <coughs> iodine react with one hydrogen so iodine's valency is also one next it is the nah sodium hydrate so here it is NaH, NaH. So hydrogen reacts with one sodium and sodium react with one hydrogen. So sodium's valency is also one. In this way, we have to find out the valencies of a different uh, elements by using its uh, formula. So today we will stop here only. The next part is the of the lesson we will see in our next uh, lecture. Okay, thank you.